Okay, we're back. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, remove the uh, second uh, healing abutment. Here we go. And it's going to go as quickly as I can here. Gold. Okay. And uh, I'll get this one out, open up a little bit, and I'll go ahead and just remove it by hand. And this is healing abutment too. So the first one we were able to seat perfectly. Here comes the second one. All right, and with suctioning again, we we notice internally that we were dealing with again some some. Uh, threads that weren't perfect in there. Okay? Got an itch in his nose. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just going to go straight down, suction all that out. And we'll look right down in there. Again, you can see, see the threads. Let me blow that up. You can see some of these buckle threads. Real easy to see. See that? That's when that screw fractured. So well, the good news is we're able to get by that segment. And I noticed something over here that looks like I got to turn that hex a little bit so it seats. See that? It's not seating all the way. So I'll undo that, and then we'll we'll make sure that seats properly. All right. So again, I'm going to go ahead and assemble a uh, healing abutment is uh, when the surgeon has you back to uncover the implant itself, he, um, he or she will remove the little cap that covers the head of the implant body that's completely submerged under the tissue. They, they use a, usually use a tissue punch. They uncover that part, it's called a, just a little cap screw, and then they take that off. And then they place immediately the tissue former, or what they call the healing abutment. It's going to form the tissue, allow it to, to uh, establish a, a profile, if you will, emergence profile. So that then becomes the neck of the, the, of the implant tooth. You know, or where the abutment is going to come out of the gum tissue. So that's real important to, to develop that uh, properly uh, so that uh, you can maintain it. Eventually a seal occurs that, uh, around the abutment itself. And that, that tissue seal is important. It prevents food and bacteria from traveling down. It keeps the implant very healthy. And in some cases, uh, you actually, uh, you know, yeah, a little tall hubcap, right? Yep. Okay. There we go. All right, there's our new screw. Let's get the uh, tissue former extension. Put that in place. Back in the mouth. Now, there is a hex configuration that we have to go over, so we don't want to hand tighten these too much. There is a hex configuration. And we'll show you more about that in a minute. Okay. There's the second one. Gold. On the side. Right. Open up just a hair wider. Let me see if I can get that in. Now here's the centering part as we go in. We're tightening that. Okay. 
All right. You can feel the threads grabbing. Not excessively though, so that's good news. Now the last thing is the skirt. It has to fit over the hex. The other one did not, so we don't want to we don't want to over tighten it. Let's double check it with the mirror and explorer. So we're going to look at the lingual, and both are have to be seated. The hex has to be seated, so we can do that with an explorer. Now undo. Now undo them both a little bit. Let's get this the sleeve seated properly, and then we'll hand tighten it a little bit more. Open, please. Okay, so we'll turn that and seat it down, and then this screw has to be tightened again. So there's a meth method to this madness here, right? So let's let's get this to seat. We'll look with the mirror to see how that is, and see it's still not quite. So let me have a um, see if we can just turn this so that it drops in. Ah, there it goes. Okay, you see the amount of gap? See that gap right there? Let me zoom in. Gap on that screw. So let's turn that screw. Now that I'm holding it in, let's get it turned. So we can just slip that driver back on there. I'll do it with my left hand. And just slip it right back on there. And just enough just to get it down all the way. That's it. So then we'll tighten that some more. So we know that the skirt is down all the way. That, I call it the skirt. It's the trans... Uh, I guess it's a tissue extender, tissue extension. Uh, look at the lingual. See, there's no gap in it all. It's right down, all the way metal to metal. Now, <clears throat> let's do the next one, all right? Then we'll tighten them together. So see, now that's seating all the way. Look at the gap. You see it? So now you can easily turn that screw. I'm doing it with my mirror. Let's get it with the instrument. Okay. Now, hold it down. Make sure it's down all the way. Well, you can just take your finger and just tighten it. All right. So I think Brandon Mark worked it out, you know, with the external hex, but um, engaging versus non-engaging. I think probably that you know this is so technique sensitive uh, and such detail. Um, they set the uh, the tone for for the design and and uh, you know you all of what we learned today is by this product. All right, so those two are in. We're going to tighten them down, but we want to try everything in, including the bridge, before we do a final ratchet down at 20 newton centimeters on those two. All right, so those are done. They're in successfully. Now we're going to do the angle in the back. I'm going to sign off because it's a little harder. I'll sign back on when we get to that point. This is Dr. Jerry Como here with a rescue case uh, in the lower right, uh, Branamark, uh, broken screw retrieval. Looking good.